of deja vu? Oh, Paimon knows what that is. It's when you feel like you've already experienced whatever is going on. In that case, Paimon also felt something like that today. But that's just our brains playing tricks on us, isn't it? So why'd you run here in such a hurry? So that's it! You're intentionally doing things you usually wouldn't and seeing if you still get that same feeling of deja vu! Welcome, you two! Are you here for lunch? What would you like to eat? Got it! You don't look like you're from these parts, but I gotta say, you've got good taste! <laughs> I'll give this order to the kitchen. Coconut charcoal cake? Isn't it that... that burned thing that didn't look tasty at all? Oh, Paimon understands what you're trying to do now. You'd never normally order something like this. That... thing? Are you really gonna eat it? Uh... isn't this... going a bit too far? It awful. Then, you mean... That's impossible! We were just talking about how gross it looked! So, would this be a case of taste bud deja vu? Paimon also gets the impression that we've been here many times, even though we are regulars. Um... How about... We go out again, and try something else. Hey! Dinyarzad is sitting by herself on that bench over there. What a coincidence, Dinyarzad. We meet again. Uh, why are you sitting here all by yourself? Oh, I ran into some kidnappers just now, but thankfully Dia came to my rescue. I started to feel unwell after that, so I sat down here. Kidnappers? Oh my goodness, are you hurt? I'm okay. Dia's arm got scratched, but it isn't serious. Whew, that's a big relief. But, Dunyarzad... You seem a little down today. It's the Subzerus Festival, and you've been looking forward to it so much! Not at all. I've always been like this. Excessive physical exertion or strong emotions tend to aggravate my illness. Besides, no matter how amazing today may be, it is but a single day. After however many more days, my time will come to an end. quite follow you, and Paimon feels like something's really got you down right now. It really is fine. I don't mind. Huh? Did something happen? Dunyarzad, have you ever felt deja vu? You know, like when you've already experienced something that's happening right now? Deja vu? No. But my days have been the same for years now. Even if I were feeling deja vu, I suppose I would already be used to it. Oh, Paimon sees. Then, is it only the two of us? It's almost time. Huh? Time for what? Nilu's Dance of Subzerus is about to begin. Uh, let's go. With your lack of intellectual credentials, I do not believe you are qualified to debate with me. What you should be doing is finding workers to tear down this ridiculous eyesore. 
When we return, have the scribe draft an ordinance before the next Nyagarbaha day that prohibits public art performances. We will publicly announce it later through the Akasha. Understood. I will inform him when I return. <sighs> the Sub Zero's festival. Go celebrate the birth of that god to your heart's content. Sage ordered us to stop the performance. It's okay. There's nothing we can do about it. But you've been really looking forward to this. I don't want you to have any regrets. It truly is unfortunate, but I don't want to cause trouble for anyone. Didn't the Grand Sage say that he might investigate the organizers? True, but... Uh... Well, okay. We'll just have to try again next year. The next festival. I probably won't be around by then. Wait, what did you just say? Uh, no, nothing. I'll be heading back to rest. Thank you for your help, everyone. Paimon can't believe what those heartless geezers did! <laughs> did Dunyarzad already go back? We should also return and get some sleep. So, in the end, you still couldn't figure out what that deja vu feeling was all about? Hmm... Maybe it really was because of exhaustion. Same here. That's why Paimon stopped thinking about it halfway through the day. <sighs> then... How about we settle in and get a good night's sleep? For now, we can chalk things up to exhaustion. We can do more thinking tomorrow. Observing a modest drop in the output of Nyana energy, but values still remain within normal parameters. Continue to monitor the variances in the data and find the cause as soon as possible. right away. Good morning, Dinyarzad. Sorry to keep you waiting. Not at all. I arrived early. Huh? Paimon thinks you sound kind of tired. Did you not get enough sleep? I'm doing well. There's no need to worry. Uh, shall we go? Let's start with the stalls over there. Great idea! Let's get going! Traveler? <laughs> it's all thanks to Miss Dunyarzad's sponsorship that the children can enjoy the Sub Zero's festival. Are you interested in Yalda candies? I have some boxes of candy here. Pick whichever one you want. Hmm. Not much of a choice. All these boxes look the same. <laughs> it's not that simple. Each box contains a random flavor. It's up to the luck of the draw. Flavors include lavender melon, hara fruit, sunsetia. Hmm. They all sound pretty tasty. And there's also Lizard Tail and Oni Kabuto. Huh? What were those last two? Mm. She'll help me choose. Paima wants to eat the Sunsetia flavor. No problem. These boxes of candy are numbered one to five from left to right. Which one do you want? Oh, -ho, I like your confidence. No hesitation at all. Congratulations! 
Number four is indeed Sunsetia. You already knew which flavor was in each box. What? She was right about all of them? That couldn't have been luck. How, how is this possible? I packed all those boxes this morning and they've been sealed ever since. You couldn't have known beforehand. Mind reading? X-ray vision? Or some kind of magic trick? This is way too freaky. Tell us what's going on. Since when did you get sealed? Powers. Traveler? Hey, where are you going? What's going on? Did you see something? Us leaving Dunyar aside without letting her know is kinda rude, you know. looking for? Why did we come here? Traveler? here. Why are there two Dunyarzads? You already know that this isn't your first sub festival, don't you? I'm sure you already know how to use this. A knowledge capsule? Where did you get it? What's inside? You should use it too, Paimon. Uh, you, you know Paimon? But Paimon feels like this is what we should do. that question a long time ago. Uh, let Paimon think. Oh, it's coming back. 
meeting you was the real catalyst for restoring our memories. And the knowledge capsule was just your means of showing our minds the way. Uh, what about everyone else? Why are you only helping the two of us? Your sense of deja vu is stronger than everyone else's, yes? As for an explanation, you two received the blessing of Dendro. And you also have special, sensitive constitutions. It was as if a single sheet of paper was separating those memories from your consciousness. A familiar question. I think this is the seventh time you asked that. As you can see, she isn't doing well. You probably sensed it too. The Dunyarzad you were just with is different from the first Dunyarzad you met. That first Dunyarzad is in front of you right now and... She doesn't have a lot of time left. <laughs> Looks like you're almost done sorting out your brain. Oh yeah, I'm Nahida. Good, you passed the test. What's happening? You can awaken our memories? And you seem like you know what's going on. Oh, wait. Please don't tell Paimon, even you don't know. Everything in this world runs in a loop. This cycle is called a samsara. You, me, and everyone else are all stuck inside a one-day samsara. As for the truth, that's on you to find out. If you were told the truth instead of discovering it yourselves, it would literally blow your minds. I don't know how you'd be after that. I can only give you surface level help, like bits of information and subtle hints. For the rest of the time, I'll be doing all I can to slow down Dunyarzad's illness. She looks like she isn't doing well at all. Her illness gets worse after each Sub-Zero's festival. If we can break out of the Samsara, I might be able to save her. But as things are right now, she's just a small bird in the sky that's about to lose its last feathers. All I can do is raise a gale to delay her fall. You sure love to use weird analogies. <laughs> analogies are wonderful tools. They let you use existing knowledge to understand unfamiliar things. Okay, so, with what you know so far, what do you think the truth is? A time loop. <sighs> You've given similarly wrong answers in the past. A pity. Still the wrong answer? Paimon thought that made a lot of sense. If a simple time loop can't explain some of the phenomena, you two are still missing a lot of information. Unfortunately, I can't give you any more hints. <coughs> <laughs> Dunyarzad! The Subzerus Festival is happening every day, but that doesn't mean we can waste an infinite amount of them. Hurry and find the truth before today's festival ends. Let's think about our current situation. To save Dunyarzad, we have to escape the Samsara of the Subzerus Festival. And to do that, we need to figure out what's happening. The truth. Nahida rejected the idea of a time loop, so... We must have missed something, right? Paimon's memories say that we've already done this many times, but... Let's go talk to people again. It's more productive than sitting here and scratching our heads. Why don't we start with... Those stall owners! Hey there! Hey, it's you guys again. Where's your cultured friend? She... Uh, she's feeling a little unwell. I see. Did you come back to buy something? I guarantee the freshness of my products. I harvested them from the forest just yesterday. Huh? What brought this about? 
I hurried back from the forest yesterday, and I'm selling protos here today. I haven't felt anything strange. Hmm, um, to put it another way, if you really, really think about it, was yesterday truly yesterday? Did you actually come back from the forest yesterday? What kind of philosophical nonsense is this? Are you two daydreaming? Didn't you know that no one dreams in Sumeru? Go somewhere else if you want to find someone to daydream with. <laughs> uh, he actually has a point. Is this a dream? Is everyone dreaming? Hmm, true. It's so weird that people here don't dream. Why is that? Anyway, if this all really were just a dream, we would have woken up a long time ago. Hmm. Let's keep asking around. Oh, it's you two. Was my divination so accurate that you felt compelled to compliment me in person? Ooh, I knew it! I told you, the god's divination is highly accurate. You just hadn't fully understood its significance yet. <laughs> You're really excited about this, huh? That's exactly why we came back. Help us better understand it. Uh, help you better understand it? W well, <laughs> that isn't exactly what I excel at. So, you're admitting that you don't have a clue? Anyway, what kind of situation did you get into? Huh? Uh, hold on a second. I thought you guys just lost your wallet or, or fell for a scam. What you just said... Are you serious? Does that kind of thing actually happen in real life? I knew you weren't going to believe it. Marvelous. Truly marvelous. I believe you. Recall the interpretation of your divination. The moon, illusions, and lies. It really felt like an omen. When you say it like that, the divination does sound like it's related to what's going on. Can you read any more into it? I believe that the Archon's revelations are never more than vague hints. Anything more specific is beyond the reach of mere mortals. The book only says, if you trust your instincts and overcome your fears, the sun will surely rise. So that's how it is. Looks like fortune telling is just fortune telling. It's no good for practical problems. We haven't made any progress. Who else can we talk to? Paima remembers that we tried talking to her a couple of times, but she always thinks we're playing pranks on her. You think she'll brush us off again? Yeah, if we tap into Dia's strong sense of responsibility as a mercenary, then she'll definitely take us seriously. Hmm. At this time of day, Dia's probably just finished beating up those kidnappers. Let's go find her! I'm fine, my lady. It's just a scratch. Perfect timing! Both of you are here! Paimon, Traveler, you came at just the right time. Listen, there was a dangerous ga- Huh? You saw? Then why didn't you jump in earlier? If someone was protecting Miss Dunyar's odd, I could've went all out. <sighs> anyway, can you do something for me? You want the Traveler to take Dunyar's odd somewhere to rest up while you check to see if there's still any kidnappers around. Did Paimon get that right? How did you know what I was going to say? We need to say something convincing. Tell her, Traveler! Uh, I didn't tell anyone about that. Including Miss Dunyarzad, you couldn't have known. And just now, you literally took the words right out of my mouth. What's going on? All right, so this is the situation. <laughs> it's kind of hard to believe what you just told me. First, let me make something clear. Most of us desert dwellers might not be the scholarly type, but we do have basic common sense. 
She's quieter than usual. Uninterested in anything and really gloomy. Yeah, she isn't the same as before, but her parents said that this is how she was like at first. Huh? At first? I don't quite understand what you're all talking about. I'll go rest on the bench over there. My lady, are you angry? All right, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt since you knew about my greatsword. Let's make this a quick trip. Miss Dunyarzad isn't completely safe here. Nahida! We brought a friend! Are you busy? I thought I told you that it won't help to bring anyone here. We just wanted her to see the real Dunyarzad's condition. The real Dunyarzad? Uh, where and... Who are you talking to? Huh? Uh, I told you that you two are special. Other people can't see me or Miss Dunyarzad here. Hold on. Over there. Is that? Wow. How perceptive. Does she have invisible antennae? Miss Dunyarzad, she's... She's lying down here, isn't she? How's she doing? Her condition's really bad. And she's basically in a coma. How did you know she was here? I... Can sense her aura. I... <clears throat> There are also lingering feelings of something like regret or disappointment. What happened? Do you believe us now? The Subzero's festival has been repeating itself. So, you think the sages are behind this? Yeah, they've always been against us. Wouldn't surprise me if they're using the Akasha to intentionally repeat the Subzero's festival as a sick joke. Hmm. You have a point. Aside from the Dendro Archon, the Academia Sages are the only ones in Sumeru who could pull off something like this. Maybe there's more to the Akasha than we know. Right! Didn't you awaken our memories using something that looked like a knowledge capsule? That means you must know something about the Akasha! The Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate, as it is the manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power. It compiles the wisdom of the entire populace, and it grants knowledge to the people. A Gnosis can do that? No wonder the Akasha is so magical. It's being powered by the Gnosis of Sumeru's Archon. So, uh, this Nahida you mentioned, what did she say? She said, and Paimon quotes, The Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate, as it is the manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power. It compiles the wisdom of the entire populace, and it grants knowledge to the people. Compiles the wisdom of the entire populace and grants knowledge to the people. Mm, wait. I get the Grant's knowledge part. That's what people have always used the Akasha for. But compiling the entire populace's wisdom? How does that work? Did she mean that the sages enter new knowledge into the Akasha? Oh, yeah. That sounds about right. What do you think? You mean, the Akasha is causing our mental fatigue? Huh. Now that I think about it, my head's been feeling unusually heavy. When the Desert Dwellers set off on their quest for knowledge, a sage once said, knowledge always comes at a price. Compiling the entire country's knowledge. You think the Akasha pulled a 180 and is extracting information from us? 
who knows? The Akasha can put knowledge into our heads, so who's to say that it can't also poke around in there? We don't know any specifics. What's the point of doing something like that? Just think about it. If you could combine the knowledge of every single person in Sumeru, then you can basically turn Sumeru City into a single massive brain. This hive mind could make breakthroughs and problems that even the smartest geniuses can't crack. An excellent deduction. And the analogy comparing Sumeru City to a massive brain? <sighs> I love it. In that case, we should take off our Akasha terminals right away. Maybe that'll solve this problem. Yeah, I was only wearing this for show in the first place. Didn't expect the sages to cook up such a conspiracy. Tch, mark my words, when this is over, I'm getting evidence and exposing this whole thing to the public. How does everyone feel? Huh? What is it? Oh, that! Paimon knows what you're talking about! It's a single soft beep that sounds like it's coming from the Akasha terminal. The sound of a beep? Could it be a prompt tone for when the Akasha is operating? That's probably an important clue. We weren't using our terminals, but we heard a beep anyway. Traveler, did you hear that? I heard it too. Our ears aren't messing with us. There was definitely a beep, but it sounded like it was coming from inside my head. We took off our Akasha terminals. Phase runtime has exceeded its expected length. At this rate, there may be casualties. But we cannot lose all of our remembers everything! <laughs> Good. You adapted quickly this time. We definitely took off our Akasha terminals last night, but we still heard that beep. Why is that? <sighs> but now we can at least confirm one thing. The Akasha definitely has something to do with whatever's trapping us in this cycle. Oh, Paimon doesn't get it. Why would the Akasha go this far if all it wants is everybody's wisdom? It's extremely difficult for lab rats in an experiment to understand why they're being treated the way they are. If we're lab rats, then what are you? Nihira, you've never told us anything about yourself. Hmm... I guess... I'm the moon. The moon? Wasn't that the result of our divination? Anyway, knowing who I am won't help you get closer to the truth. So you should focus on other things. Don't get distracted and miss any clues. <sighs> okay then. Dia helped us a lot yesterday, so let's go find her. If Paimon's reading the time correctly, those kidnappers should be showing up soon. Ah, there you are. I've already taken care of those kidnappers. My lady, did you get hurt? Huh? Dia? What's wrong? Why are you both gawking at me like that? You... you didn't get hurt this time! Huh? What do you mean, this time? Why are you so surprised that I managed to get out unscathed? Those kids were amateurs. you know about my great sword? I haven't told anyone about it. Please, don't tell Miss Dunyarzad. So Dia's lost her memories after all. Anything strange? You already know that I got a new great sword. Hmm, 
If I had to say something, it's weird how such a new weapon could feel so familiar. It's as if I've already used it to fight a countless number of battles. You're saying that although you don't remember using it, your body feels like it does? That's right. Both mercenaries and warriors heavily rely on muscle memory. Only knowing the theory of battle won't get you anywhere. Traveler, what do you think? Yeah! Paimon's feeling really hopeful! Oh, you're right! Earlier in the Samsara, something like this would have never happened! I have no clue what you two are talking about, but it's still dangerous here, so... So you want us to take Dunyarzad somewhere else to rest while you check if there are still more kidnappers around, right? How did you know what I was gonna say? Can you read minds? Uh, uh, forget it. Go and do your thing. Time. Aside from Dia not getting injured, everything seems to have stayed the same. Hmm. Listen, Nahida, we found out that Dia got out just fine today, even though she got injured every other time she fought the kidnappers. Do you think the Samsara has been broken? Have we saved Dunyarzad? Really? Good job on all that progress. Get some good sleep tonight. Hey! What kind of an answer is that? Tomorrow will come. Everyone assumes this is common knowledge, but the only way you can know that for sure is if you experience tomorrow. How many todays has it been? Is it possible that today will be followed by yesterday? Does tomorrow truly exist as anything beyond a made-up concept? It's even possible that this entire world is a lie, and the history of the whole world has just been one endless sub zeros festival. Okay, okay, no more. Paimon's brain is already shut down. <laughs> That's why it makes no sense to waste your energy thinking about things you will learn tomorrow. Get some good rest. You know, use the bathroom and flush your anxiety dookie away. Uh, uh, huh? Hold on, what did you just say? Did Paimon hear you correctly? Huh? People always say they feel a sense of relief after they take a duke duke. That's why I suggested you could try that. Uh, it's so strange and so against common sense that Paimon's at a loss for words. You were sounding kind of smart just a minute ago. Yeah, even though it's happy and lively at the Sub Zero's festival every day. It feels like it's been a long time since we've really gotten to relax. Uh, let's go back to our room. Continue the harvest. Compared to what we stand to achieve, these sacrifices are trivial. 